We're going to begin by chopping some nuts. I like to use a variety of three nuts. You can choose any of your favorite ones. I like to use almonds and walnuts as default and I alternate the third one with any extra nut that I have. This time I use Brazilian nuts. So I chopped half a cup of almonds, half a cup of walnuts, half a cup of Brazilian nuts, and we'll also need half a cup of pumpkin seeds and half cup of any dried fruit that you prefer. I am using dried apricots. For the sweetener of this granola, I am opting to use a natural sweetener by using dates. So we will boil about one cup of dates in some water until they are soft. We will then strain the water and mash the remaining dates with a fork. An alternative to using the dates would be to use maple syrup. The remaining ingredients that we also need are two cups of oats, some vanilla extract, cinnamon powder, and a third cup of almond butter. Next, in a mixing bowl, we will combine all our wet ingredients. These include either the dates or maple syrup, the third cup of almond butter, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of cinnamon. Next, give all of these ingredients a thorough mix. We will then mix in our dry ingredients. So add in the two cups of oats, along with our almonds, Brazilian nuts and walnuts, and the pumpkin seeds. Next, we'll give everything a mix until it's all evenly incorporated. Next, we can grease our baking tray with some vegan butter. Once our baking tray is greased, we can then pour in our granola mix. We want to make sure that the granola is spread out evenly in the thin layer. We will then bake the granola at 325 degrees for about 30 minutes stopping halfway to give everything a mix. Once the granola is baked, we can add in our dried fruit and if you like, you can also add in some vegan chocolate. Give everything a mix so the chocolate starts to melt over the warm granola and we are ready to serve. There are so many delicious ways to enjoy this granola. One thing I like to do is taking some vegan yogurt and topping it off with granola and fresh fruit. Another way I like to eat it is having it as a cereal with some fresh strawberries and some oat milk. Another super yummy variation is to make a smoothie bowl where you make a smoothie with some frozen fruit with a slightly thicker consistency and top it off with the granola. And of course, you can always enjoy it on its own as a super healthy snack. I typically make this over weekend, store it in an airtight container and enjoy it as a breakfast or snack for the next couple of weeks. It's filling, yummy, and super healthy for you with its mix of nuts, oats, and seeds that all offer a great source of protein, healthy omega-3 fats, iron, and is full of antioxidants. And when having it with a plant-based yogurt or milk, you also get the added benefit of fortified B12. And the yummy sweetness from local in-season berries just makes it amazingly healthy and delicious. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and got some good ideas for a vegan breakfast enjoyed with a simple granola.